Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'm going to install a free plugin which will add more blocks in your WordPress website. If you're not using any page builder like Elementor or WP Bakery, and if you are still using the default Gutenberg block editor to customize your website, then you should try using this free plugin. The name of the plugin is Guten Kit Page Builder Blocks, Patterns and Templates for Gutenberg Block Editor. This plugin has free as well as the premium version. However, in this video, I'm going to install only the free version of this plugin and I'll show you which features are available in this free plugin and how you can add blocks or widgets in your WordPress website. This plugin has been installed on more than 4,000 WordPress website. This is comparatively a new plugin. Let me show you the website of this plugin. This is the website WP Mate. In previous videos, I have shown you how you can use the free Elements Kit Lite plugin. This is a free add-on plugin for Elementor website. I have also shown you how to use the Mate form. This is again Elementor contact form. And I have also published a video on email kit. If you are using WooCommerce or the WordPress website, you can customize the default emails that are sent by your website using this free plugin. So if you want to watch these videos, I'll give you the links in the description box. In this video, I'm going to discuss about Guten Kit Ultimate Page Builder Blocks for Gutenberg. So let's go to the website. I have one demo website installed here. This is a new installation and I do not have any page or any plugin installed on this website. So let's go to the dashboard and let me show you the theme. It is using the default 2024 theme. And if I go to plugins, you will see that I'm not using any page builder or any other plugin on this website. So I'm going to install a new plugin. So click on add new plugin and let's search for Guten Kit. This is the plugin. Click on install now and click on activate. So the plugin is activated in the left hand panel. You will see the option Guten Kit. We are on the welcome. Then we have blocks, modules and settings on the welcome page. You will see some information about this plugin. If you want to learn, you can go to knowledge base and you can learn more about this plugin, how to use it and which features are available. Let's go to settings. In the settings, you will see API key integration. If you want to integrate some of these features, then you will need a pro plugin. All these options are available in pro plugin, I guess. Then go to advance and these are the advanced settings, then asset generation, version control and global CSS. So I'm not going to discuss about these settings. Let's go to blocks here and you will see all the blocks which are available in the free plugin. If I scroll down, you will see all these blocks. Let's go to general and these are the general blocks then WP post. If you want to customize default WordPress widgets about the post, you will see WP post then header and footer. If you want to use blocks or the widgets for the header and footer, these are the header and footer widgets. And if I go to pro, you will see all, all these blocks or the options are available only in the pro plugin. Let's go to general. Let me show you the pricing of the premium version. If I go to pricing here, you will see the pricing of the premium or the pro version is $35.10. This is for one website. If you want it for five websites, the pricing will be $67.20. And for unlimited websites, it will be $111.75. In the premium version, you will get 65 plus Gutenberg blocks, mega menu builder, query loop builder, glass morphism animation effects 500 plus ready templates one page scroll parallax effects so all these features are available in the premium version you will get 100 percent hassle free money back guarantee for 14 days so if you want to buy this pro plugin i'll give you the link in the description box if there is any discount coupon code i'll mention that in the description box let's go back to the website here after the blocks you will see modules and if I go to modules, you will see icon pack is there. So if you want to use some icons, you will see icon pack is already uploaded there. Page settings are available. Copy paste style is available and other options are available in the premium version only. Entrance animation is for the free version. All right, let's go back to blocks and let's see which blocks do we have here. Container, advanced accordion. Let's try to use these blocks on one of the pages. So let's go to pages here. And I have the sample page here. So let's go to edit sample page. And here we are using the default Gutenberg. Here you can click on the plus sign and select the widget or the block that you want to use. 
at the top you will see guten kit so all these blocks are from the guten kit plugin all these blocks are there then we have text block these are the default gutenberg blocks media block is there design is there widgets i is there so let's start with the guten kit if you want to create a new container you can simply drag it and drop it and you will see new container block is there so if you want to use two column three columns you can use two columns or three columns or multi column container layout so i'm going to select two columns here so you will see two columns are available if you want to customize it you can simply click on it and go to this customization and from here you can change the style settings of the container so if i go to style you will see background type you can change the background type let's select the black color so for this particular column we have selected background black color if you want to use overlay you can also use overlay or you can use container layout we have full width custom or boxed so you can change the width of this particular column so i have selected column so that's why it shows the width settings for the column minimum height is there so if you want to change the height you can change the height also advanced you will see layout margin position where you want to position hide visibility on desktop tablet or mobile desktop you can change the settings for the tablet if you want to hide it on the mobile you can simply click on it and this section will be hidden on the mobile devices if i select the second column here then i can change the style settings of the second column also change the color so this is how it is going to look if i change the view on the tablet it is going to look like this on the mobile device it is going to look like this click on the plus sign and let's search for the other one let's try advanced accordion and uh, this is nothing but an accordion that you can use to create faq section on your wordpress website if you want to add more items you can simply click on this one and you can add a new accordion or new item in accordion let's go to style settings and from here you can change the style settings of this accordion widget if you want to select the entire section you can simply select this one and it will show it will select the entire section the accordion section and for that if you want to change the background color then you can change it from here so we are going to change the background color of the entire section the entire accordion section so this is how it is going to look all right now let's click on the plus sign again and search for the other option here icon box let's drag it and drop it and you will see the icon box here so we have icon at the top then we have title and some content if you want to change the icon you can click on this and select the new icon from here let's select this one insert it and you will see the new icon is there we have button if you do not want to show the button you can disable or you can enable it from here this is the content for the button then we have badge if you want to use the badge you can use the badge also okay now let's go to the style settings advanced and change the background color i'm going to change the background color and from here you can change the content color also let's change this to black and we are going to change the color of the content let's go to content and from here change the content color all right so you can see that we can easily change the content color and we can go to icon box container or go to icon and from here you can change the color of the icon and you can also change the size of the icon let's make it 100 so this is how it will look all right so this is the icon box let's go to the plus sign let's look for the other widget let's try this one dual button drag it and drop it here and this is a dual button we have button one here and for the button one change the text from here let's say image and you can add a link here so if someone clicks on this button it will go to google.com and let's go to button two and let's say text if someone clicks on it it will go to so it will go to msn.com if you want to add icon you can also add icon let's say arrow i want to add icon search for the icon arrow let's use this one so this is for the second button go to the first button enable the icon 
and use the icon again let's search for arrow where do you want to position before or after let's go to the second one select the option after so it will be here now if you want to customize you can go to style settings for the button one we have these color combination for the button two we have this color combination so you can change the color from here let's go to the plus sign again and let's try another one image accordion drag it and drop it here so it will show the accordion of the image so if i click on it it will show this first image then some content and a button then go to second image then content and button third image content and button if you want to customize you can simply go to these settings here from here select a new image and it will be shown here keep this item active then this particular image will remain active this is the title then enable wrap link button url and project link url so you can add url here similarly you can go to the second accordion and here you can add your own image and change the content and the link for the button let's look for the other option let's go to team and we have one column here so i'm going to add a team here all right so in this column you can add your team or wherever you want you can add the team and you will see the option here to customize this is another option overlay centered hover on overlay centered so you will see different layouts are already created you can use any one of these layouts let's try the countdown timer here so this is a countdown timer if i click on it you will see different styles or the layouts are already created let's go to box you will see this box layout then flip layout so it is going to flip the numbers linear gradient linear then crest so these are different layouts that you can use for the countdown timer if you want to change the time settings you can go here and select the date and time that will be shown as a countdown timer custom labels days hours minutes seconds you can customize it from here and go to style settings and you can change the color settings for this countdown timer so you can see that there are many different widgets available that you can use to create blocks in your default gutenberg let's try this one testimonials drag it and drop it here and it is going to create a testimonial you will see a sliding testimonial is there primary style then we have grid style with avatar with a rating a review rating with code review and rating so these are different layouts for the testimonials from here you will see icons that you can change and here you can add the testimonial content client name designation review title and review description then you can select the rating for the review and if you want to add link you can add link and avatar this will be active if you want to make it active you can make it active you can also change the background color for this review so all the customization settings are there go to slider settings and you will see the settings for the slider of the testimonial spacing how many slides do you want to show currently it is set to one you can make it two and two testimonials will be shown in a slide all right so it is very easy to customize it now here you will see template library let me save this page we have added some blocks on this page and let's go to view page so you will see various blocks that we have added here okay now let's go to template library you will see template library option is there some of these templates are available for the free version and some of these are available for the pro version if i go to pages i guess all the templates are available only for the pro version yeah everything is for the pro version here let's go to templates and some templates are available for the free version so this one is for the free version let's click on it and let's try to use this template so it shows uh, we have five different styles here let's import it so if you want to use templates which are already designed professionally you can import the templates all right so you can see that we have imported the template here this template is imported just below the content that we have added here 
after importing the template you can customize that layout you can change the color settings and the content on this layout so here you can use the pre-designed templates also if you want to customize header and footer section you can go to themes and from there you can go to customize option and you can customize different sections of your website so if i want to customize the header section i can go to patterns you will see the header option here and from here you can customize the header section so if you want to add any element you can simply go to plus sign and let's say i want to search menu option so i can search for the menu and drag it and drop it here and the menu will be added to the header section similarly if you want to customize the footer section you can customize the footer section from here so this is the current default footer section you can customize it you can change the color settings and you can add multiple widgets in the footer section so if you are using the free gutenberg wordpress block editor on your wordpress website then you can try using this free guten git plugin to add more blocks in your wordpress website and if you want to buy a pro plugin i'll give the link in the description box you can use my link to buy this plugin so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.